welcome back. So I was recently talking to someone and she was telling me that they knew someone that was trying to get different reservations for like the same day of their Disney World or Disneyland trip. They were like wanting to do lunch and dinner or breakfast and dinner and she was encouraging them to do one a day and I was like I agree with the one a day thing like do one dining reservation a day but I would even cut it down less than that because in my experience when we went to Disneyland we stopped and got a coffee in Disneyland and we got breakfast we each got like a breakfast sandwich and a coffee now after that that was the only thing we bought multiple of we just snacked around the park a couple hours later we got us a, um, a stew and a bread bowl four of us ate that we also got a churro we also got beignets we got two orders of beignets I think then we got the Berea grilled cheese and a kids meal but we split everything uh, between three of us and that was like our big sit down kind of like late afternoon lunch and then after that we had chicken nuggets and fries and then the only other drink we bought that day was like a blue or green milk from Star Wars like in the very very evening so I would say max one dining reservation a day but even that I would say if you're not especially if you've never been before I would not do more than one for every couple of days because you get so little time in the parks like even when I went we stayed there like open which was like 8 a.m. to after midnight when they closed and it still wasn't enough time to do everything so I would to me it's not worth it to do a dining reservation like that and then lose a bunch of your park time especially if you haven't been there before and if you did I would say maybe on a rest day if it doesn't require a park reservation or during the hottest part of the day like two to five because the lines are so long for all the rides if you can go sit down and eat even though you're gonna feel like Ugh, afterwards because you, you are eating normally a bigger meal especially at those like uh, uh restaurants that are not a la carte like you get charged a set amount like they bring you a lot of food so you're not probably gonna feel the best but if you were gonna go take a nap anyway that would be the time I would schedule it, but early, early in the morning, like a breakfast, or late in the late, late, unless you would get a reservation after park close, that would be a good one too. Because sometimes, like the park closes at ten, and you can get a ten fifteen reservation. Do that because when you walk out, it'll be completely cl clear of people because everyone's already gone. But I would definitely say limit your reservations for food. It just you, you have a limited amount of time there and you already spent so much money to be there. I, and the, the quick service food is really, really good. So unless you're doing a character dining, I just don't think I personally would do that many dining reservations. Now, would I do one or two? Probably. But again, not on a park day if I could. Do it on a rest day if you have a rest day. And schedule it when you wouldn't be able to do anything else anyway like you know two to five when the when the lines are super super long or right as park closes so those are my tips for dining reservations and stuff like that but don't stress the small stuff if you can't get the reservation it's not a big deal and um i did i did use mouse dining to try to get an oga's re reservation when we went and I did not get it, but that might be an option for you if you want to try something to try to get the reservation of your dreams. But it didn't come through for us, but I've heard a lot of people brag about it. Until next time, bye y'all!